Hello everyone and welcome back to part 6 of the Cretaceous Kingdom doing a natural looking part uh, park for our dinosaurs. We are now at the city. Well, it's not a city, but I guess it's a big resort. We uh, I'm still building it, so this is not the final look of the buildings nor the lights. Uh, but yeah, I'm still building it. I've got some details in here. People can be looking at um, some of the dinosaurs that may or may not come and eat here. And I've got this little opening. Um, but yeah, so so far this is where we at now. I've got a little storage um, command center here. Uh, it's a control center, but whatever. It's a command center for the lore. And um, over here we've got just a whole bunch of stuff. This is where we keep stuff and bring them to the park if we need them and all of these things that's where they are we already have one such um, storage unit around in the park and it's all the way over here but this is just a very small one all right so yeah so this is just a very small one like it's not guarded at all there isn't much here uh, but over here is a much bigger one. And I really like it. I feel like it's nice. It's protected by gates. There's just a whole more, a uh, whole bunch more stuff here. I really like it. I really do. We're going to have to had, um, well, I am, I was in the process before starting the recording to uh, continue the hotel things we I might had another four hotels around here but after that over here is going to be the monorail and the rest of the park um, so that we can see beautiful dinosaurs again so I'll be completing or working up a little bit on uh, the city and then I'll get back to you guys also I have added a gyrosphere area so that people can go into Jurassic World, the open terrain for dinosaurs to mingle and enjoy themselves. This is the Javelina Formation one, though. So only dinosaurs you will find here are those that were um, in the Javelina Formation. So this isn't uh, a lot that we have access to uh, in the game. I might have more Adrosaurus, although... The Edmontosaurus were not in the Javelina formation. Uh, there were Adrosaur uh, dinosaurs in there. So, you know, the game only has uh, so few. So I put the Edmontosaurus uh, in there. So, yep, yeah, I'll be continuing this and I'll get right back to you. All right. And so here we are. Um, we've made it some modification about the dinosaurs. I've built up a little bit more of these um, hotels uh, but yeah so I was just reading about the javelina formation because this is what I do uh, before adding dinosaurs I read about them and I read about the formations and the the habitat that I'm creating um, and in 2016 there were new discoveries and uh, well basically it was confirmed that it was the Unmantosaurus that was in the Javelina formation. So, I mean, it is not that big of a surprise because this guy is from Alberta um, and the Javelina formation is part of North America. Um, but still, um, yeah, so these guys are confirmed. They're official. They are part of the Javelina Commencing formation. There were also talks of the Parazolophus being in. So I did had these guys. Where are they? I'm there. There's one. I'm currently adding them. So yeah, we have these guys coming in as well. I've added more. I know. I've added more Torosaurus uh, because I, I felt that there was not that much dinosaurs in here, and I've added also the um, what is it called? The Good Mother dinosaur. Um, the Mayazora. So Mayazora are also added as it was um, a couple of specimens um, resembling 
these types of dinosaurs were found so i added that one um just just to say so these are the new additions to our dinosaurs in the jurassic world part of the park now there is a lots of dinosaurs and uh, they're mixing with the trodon but yeah now you're don't be scared not to find any dinosaurs in here there was already a lot now there's more you can see a nice shot from uh, from the view here you can see them everywhere what are these guys doing here trying to go to the beach um, but yeah so this was my little update uh, let's get back to the town now okay so now we are done with town and this is uh, what you're looking at I've had a lot of decor in here um, there's a nice blue hue to the restaurant zone so you've got creeps, burgers and fries, sushis, steaks, all. This is all restaurant around here with all the tables outside. Around here is the behind area. You don't go there. Over here, it's more restaurant. This time, the seating is all inside due to the street here being a little bit smaller. Like this is the main hub there. And uh, since this is a little bit smaller, everything is located inside. Over here, we have the uh, merch stuff. So every merch, all the merch is over here. And there's also action figure here, which I forgot to. Change a little bit. Yeah, this could be good. I forgot to change some of these. I'll do this later though. So um, just so you see. Now we've got the VR zone around here. We've got the fossil zone. We've got the arcades. And then we've got the gym. And I've had a nice little... Like this is the main path. When you're coming in from the motels. Well, the hotels. You are going to arrive here. And so this is the main most decorated path uh, there is and then you enter the um, the uh, second most often used route and uh, this is also a little bit decorated not too much we don't need to do too much either and uh, that's about it and over here with the hotels I've kept it simple because this is where people carry their luggage they walk a lot they meet outside so basically just a couple of chairs um, a couple of billboards to know where you are and what to do in the parks and the same thing over here is basically the same thing but a little bit bigger and then you finally arrive to the innovation center which since we're going for a natural type park I didn't decorate at all except for John Hammond here and his little DNA strand but um, this is just some nature filling around it and I think it's beautiful like that and it doesn't need to be more than this and then you can enter in here and um, get out of there to the monorail or the next enclosure Whew. so I'm actually relieved we've got this done I like the way it's looking at you've got activities you've got the restaurant zone and then you've got the merch zone uh, although admittedly I could have put the merch zone closer to the hotels but you know what people can walk and they got two hands to transport stuff so there you go <laughs> uh, but yeah I think it's a really nice place that you're getting into as soon as you're out of the the mountains or as soon as you arrive from uh, the entrance over there so I will start doing the monorail now. The concavenator is quite literally a hunter with a hump. So please, please, please keep it sweet. Because I really don't want to have to flee from this Spanish predator. Oh, 
All right, so now we've got some predators near the hotels just to get people excited. Uh, Concavator, uh, what's his name again? Concavenator is, uh, I think, an interesting looking species, and I think it will fit right in just beside the hotels. Time to make the habitat. All right, everyone, thanks for still being there. Although, I guess for you, it only took a second for me. I think it's been two hours or so. Um, but yeah, where were we? Um, I said I would have these guys. I did. I think I believe last time we talked was uh, was about to have the habitat. And so I did. So that is the habitat. I'm sorry if I already showed you that. It's been a while for me. Can't remember exactly where we were. Uh, but yeah, so we've got the habitat of these, um, oops, of these concavenator dealt with. We've also put these little things there to protect, because uh, you know we're just beside the 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 hotels, and so I want to protect the kids or whoever <laughs> might think it's a good idea to touch this fence. It's not, and so we've added these little details here. Now, while we were while I was gone, I've also um, the thing with this game is that I, I kind of lose myself with the time, and and then I just kind of forget and I just keep building and building and adding stuff and I'm like oh yeah and I'll do that. Uh, well, while I was doing that, I added the parks electricity system. So we see our first repeater substation here. Well, it says number five, but whatever. This is our first one and <coughs> over here is the system in place so we've got the uh, large substation over here and then we've got the control center for electricity and then we go deeper into the woods we've got what is that the lagoon hatchery and that's why i pressed on pause on my recording it's because i want to start showing you guys some of the aquatic species that we'll have in the park but anyway, and then we keep going and going into the woods and further into the woods and then um, further. Uh, no, I think we're going to turn here. Yeah, we're turning here. And then we've got a backup generator. We'll have more of these across the park. We've got a small power station around here. And we've got a uh, staff center, which basically are people managing um the electricity here and then if you go back on the road and then you just continue a little bit then we have our main hub for the electricity of the entire park and so like this is big here and we've got a well, it's an expedition center, but it is basically the people that takes care of the electricity. And they also got an helicopter because they're so far away from the park that, um, you know, if there's a problem with the electricity, they need to get back on track <laughs> with uh, the main park or they, they, they have to do something. So this is it. This is the electricity for the park. It's deep in the wood because, well, I enjoy the woods in real life. I really do. And I just picture myself. The job I would want in this park would probably be this one here. Surrounded by forests and just managing some electricity. That just sounds cool. But also, when I build these parks in my head, I'm always... What if this was a movie and, and you're lost in the park and you're just... You're over here and you have to, and you tell yourself, I'll, I'll follow the road because, you know, road leads to something. And, um, and you're just here, like surrounded by the forest and you just, and you hear these creepy dinosaurs and you're just hoping that none of them will come. And then when you finally get to something, it's like almost a tin can um location you know like there's not a lot that's going to protect you from dinosaurs around here you know they can barge through this door they could 
barge through that. Same thing here, this is cheap material. Won't really protect you in case of dinosaur invasion. So then it would be just a massive disappointment for your survival. But anyway, this aside, um, I've done the lagoon. I started the lagoon. And so this is what the lagoon will be um, like. I find it's a nice little platform. There will be a monorail leading to it. Um, but yeah, and I'm now I'm about to release the dinosaurs for these platforms. So let's see this together. And then we'll hand the video. All right, so ready for release? Let's do it. When we think about the animals that have inhabited this planet the longest, it's normally the likes of crocodiles and sharks that spring to mind first. But Earth's prehistoric waters were also home to some mighty impressive turtle species, just like this one, the Archelon. And so here we have the Archelon, black and red. Pretty cool looking, in my opinion. Um, they'll have to find their way into the rocks over there. And we've got another set of Archelon that will release. I just want to see their color. A little bit of blue on them. Yeah, looking pretty good too. Alright, so these guys are hopefully going to make their way. It's pretty far, but they they should probably find it eventually. And now we're going to get the Notosaurus. All right, let's go. Wow. When they told me this thing has legs, I said, no, it's staying in the water. I don't want to be receiving reports of it running rampant in the sewers, showing up in elevators. Nothosaurus? <laughs> Not a chance. Well, there it is. Look at that. So yeah, these are the first two marine species to enter the park. I um, have a lot of choices that... that um, I'm not sure. I'm not going to get all of them. Um, but I might get the Mosasaurus because, you know, you kind of have to. And maybe a, maybe some dolphin-like dinosaurs and a long neck one. Uh, the Atenborosaurus looks cool. But then again, the Stigzosaurus as well. I don't know if if you prefer if you think you'd prefer one, just let me know in the comments, and I uh, I will probably oblige unless I get a lot of requests. But I just started doing these videos. I don't think a lot of people are watching them um, yet. But uh, yeah, so so this is. Um, this is where we part ourselves today, and I think we've done a lot. Oh yeah, I did the monorail as well, and uh, basically for the moment it only leads to the uh, start of the park beside this little area, and it has a little light too for these guys that are eating there. Like this entire thing lights up the place. So from the entrance now, instead of having to walk through the swamp area and the the beach area and the mountain area, now you can just simply take the monorail and get to the main park. 
I say the main park because, well, this is obviously where <laughs> there's a lot of houses, but it's also where there's the Jurassic World um, event, you know? So, like, this is, this is what most people will probably want to see and want to take part of. Whereas, yeah, you do have the T-Rex here, but there, there's... Oh, look, it's hanging... Hanging right beside... Oh, man, that would be so amazing. There it is. The T-Rex. That would be so cool. You're just here drunk. And you're seeing a T-Rex here. Alright, alright. Um, but, yeah, so... There's, there's a chance that if you do take part in these activities in real life that you wouldn't see the T-Rexes or the Deinonychus or the Spinosaurus. Um, of course, you would be seeing the Quetzal, Quetzal, whatever his name is, Quetzal Coatlas, I believe. Quetzal Coatlas, yeah. You would see him for sure, for 100% sure. But these guys, there's always a chance that, you know, the T-Rex might be... I don't know, somewhere hiding. Uh, same thing with the Spinosaurus. Might be, you know, not hanging out near the hotels. Could be hanging out in places where you wouldn't see them. I'm, I'm regretting having made these guys green, actually. Do you do they not have um, the color from Prehistoric Planet documentary? Was that it? Let's go take a look real quick. No, it doesn't look like they have it. Well, anyway. Um. The park is about to end soon. Like if we if we look at the space that I've left myself, um, we don't have that much space. We still have some where we can feature some great dinosaur. But we're gonna have to be starting to think to um, we're gonna have to start to think about being selective here into what we're going to do because there's there's definitely not that much place left and when the park ends i'm going to work on adding more details a little bit everywhere i can think of and then it, i'll do a video um, me walking the entire park i'm not sure how long that video is going to be but it should be interesting i think i really love my park i do but let's not forget we also... Oh, yeah, no, I wanted to do something here, but now I've just done the lagoon. Oh, yeah. It's okay. We can actually... We do have some space between here and here. We There is definitely something to do here. We can have some dinosaurs and make it, make it stop here and do this little um, wood... Uh, Pregnant women this little camp I was wanting to do. Oh, look at them. They're all here. Wow. Wait, that's not the one I wanted. God, let's just walk. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at that. Whoa, watch your tail. These are so huge. Oh, this oh, sh this guy's just sleeping on us. Just decided to sleep with the triceratop. Eh. Alright. 
there isn't a lot of people here. Um, I wish there would be more. Maybe once the park fills up a little bit. And that's a, a little bit of the details that I've added. It's just like a waiting area. This welcomes the guests that are coming. Um, yeah. All right, everyone. If you've enjoyed that, press the like button. It will help. And um, I'll see you guys for and girls for the lagoon area. I think this is going to be really, really sweet. They're still all over the place. They need to... Oh, there you go. There's one. Will hit go. And it's going. Let's see it during the day. This is going to be much better. There you go. It's unfortunate we can't add anything on this rock. Or we can't combine them together. I wish. Really nice skin. Look at his paws. <laughs> yeah, this, this is going to be good for uh, these dudes. Un unfortunately, the reflection of the sun is a little intense in this game. Like, look at that. Ugh, the sun doesn't work like that with your eyes. Like, look at this. This guy is suffering intensely from eye condition. Anyway, okay, everyone. Thanks again for watching and have a great day. Goodbye.